was a really great experience to have. Well, I made some very good friends, first of all, who were actually, I didn't, we just got along really well as a group. I would recommend doing the ITL project to meet uh, different and interesting people. It's definitely helped me put my course into context where I could actually go with something like this. I was delighted with the presentation today. It's so much work over the 12 weeks. Really, the students uh, that select to be on the broad curriculum module, it's not their core subject matter in terms of synthetic biology. They really actually had to push their thinking. The key thing was the ability for people from different courses that you'd never normally meet to kind of come together and share ideas and you could gain perspectives that like you wouldn't normally get. It's more kind of creative. We got to kind of brainstorm some cool ideas, got lectures from really cool sort of scientists, biohackers, artists. It was just, a, yeah, it was, it was a completely different experience. They were also having to think about artistic models, commercial models, who their audience was, how they develop an exhibition plan, stuff that none of them had ever done before. So I was um, extremely proud of uh, the presentations today. Opiorphin is a naturally occurring peptide originally isolated in human saliva. And we're suggesting that this, is, this be produced in the milk of transgenic cows. I have a science background so I learned to think very logically and it really made me aware of like the creative thought process and not always thinking logically. You know I found it daunting when I when I first came in because you know there was a lot of imagination is a big scary word you know and we had to create this product out of, out of nothing. We want to make a living room, a house that's entirely organic, biological. We were inspired by yeast, the mechanisms for um, grafting and the way it grows. I found it really positive being a mentor for ITL. I found that the students were really engaged, curious. They had some very interesting questions which I hadn't considered myself. We touched on many subjects such as the potential of synthetic biology in tackling invasive species. One of the winners, uh, Novia, I think is the perfect approach. You know, one of the biggest problems that a lot of science, new science has is public opinion. We were creating con like uh, demonstrative products that simulate synthetic biology applications. Um, so, such as we have toothpaste um, that cleans your teeth for you, so you don't have to brush your teeth. By exhibiting this, we can get the public's reaction and see how they feel to using bacteria instead of chemicals. And then we can then sell on this information to scientists and businesses as consultants. Some of the best ideas ever developed, ever created, uh, or ever taken to any outcome have come between fields. So. It shouldn't be left until someone graduates for them to stop specialising and branch out. It's, it's been great to see a work that has really come together in a few weeks. And I, you know, I went to a couple of the early classes and, and it's been fantastic to see the journey you've all come on. I didn't think we'd make the deadlines, but we walked together, you know, we kind of realised ourselves how much we could do if we actually worked in the team. So I was happy enough for what we've done. Lone heroes only win in the movies. And then only if they got a good script. So anything that encourages early collaboration and undoes some of that silly competitive dynamic that the early education system sets up, any course that undoes that and creates collaboration is fantastic. Through this project we found that there's a lot of misconceptions about um, synthetic biology and ethical issues, so we'd like to continue our work as uh, scientific communicators, continue exhibiting. And even if none of them had a grounding in synthetic biology or science, all of them came out with inspiring results. Synthetic biology is, in my view, the future, and to see these young people taking on that challenge as teams, coming up with innovative ideas and progressing them so far in such a short time really gives you some hope for the future.